And that's the story of how the ninjas helped save the puppy from the volcano. In other news, civil war broke out today in Mudumdare as the two main forces, LDTD and LDTO, tried to take control of the competition. Unrest began in the early hours of the day as LDTD proclaimed that it was the rightful advisor to the theme, which is due to be elected later this week. LDTO responded quickly, claiming that it deserved the position, after the success of the tower in Mudumdare 12 back in 2008. Despite the United Nations attempts to calm the situation, trouble continued brewing after a splinter cell broke off from the LDTDs, known now as the Nilogdians. The Nilogdians joined the fight shouting out alternatives to the LDTD doctrines. LDTD leaders have advised people to ignore the Nilogdians as a radical cult. Nilogdian officials have condemned the LDTD's actions and have laid down threats against anyone willing to join the LDTD movement. The United Nations has raised concerns over the safety of those taking part in the LDTD and the LDTO movements after the violence that occurred during the potato riots earlier this year. UN Assistant Secretary of Ludumdare Affairs, Georgina Georgina, made an official statement earlier on. Some people are just going to get caught in the middle of this. We want everybody to know that the UN will be supporting these developers to the best of our ability. She did warn that joining the struggle could go on to further escalate the affair. A lot of participants have been on the verge of joining the struggle, believing there would be safety in numbers, but the UN firmly believes that even joining minority forces such as the Ludum Dare Tower Potato Force could cause things to escalate more than they already have. So far, the UN hasn't made a serious move towards bringing a cease to the hostilities in the area, though they are hoping for a peaceful resolution by the Ludum Dare community themselves. This is Dezels, and we'll be bringing you up-to-date news on the topic as soon as it's available.